I, I think that this is like we should be more excited about this than than the general reaction is. And I think the the, the getting caught up on the Cavill stuff is really holding us back from like, you know, being excited about the authority, being excited about Booster Gold, even if it is Chris fucking Pratt. You know, like these are things and the lanterns thing was really surprising. They 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 came. We're gonna do lanterns, but this show that we've been talking about this whole time, though, that, this, that one's done. Sorry, we're canceling that before it gets off the ground. Now they're gonna do this like buddy cop, true detective thing. That's with what John I. And Hal Jordan, very when, interesting. Decision. When I saw when I saw that announcement, that's what kind of turned my head. I was like, hey, all right, now we're now like because I I. Kept, this is something that went back to um, 2015, 2014, chatting with a mate who just, he he just dived in so deep into so much like Green Lantern shows and, and like, you know, comics, everything. And he just, he sold me on it. He said, you don't even need to have any acknowledgement or any kind of reference to anything going on on Earth. You could do an entire universe of like, you know, 10, 20 movies all linked together with a big um, team up at the end with just the Green Lantern Corps storylines and stuff with all of that. And they don't even need to touch Earth. They don't need to touch on any other superheroes and stuff because you could do so much with the Red Lanterns, with the Green Lanterns, with freaking, you know, Sinestro Corps, all this stuff and he was just selling me on it i was like wow why don't they do that and he's like because warner brothers doesn't know what they fucking have like he was so frustrated saying like well i mean that that last project they were talking about was was they they described it as largely like a space opera and they decided that they didn't want to go in that direction and that's cool like you know there there's been a there's a critique out there that says that the most interesting thing about the Green Lanterns that's happened in the last, like, 25, 30 years was the um, the yes, introduction of the, of the rainbow, the rainbow spectrum of, of light colors and, and everybody having, like, a, a different M&M colored, rain, uh, you know, version of the green, uh, of their, of their lantern. And, I think one of the reasons why they decided not to do that is budgetary, po- po- possibly. Um, that might have been a big it's... contributor because that's a lot of that's a lot of special effects, that's a lot of CGI, and and I think that that would work as a cartoon. You know, in animation, it would be a lot easier to pull it off. And I, I've enjoyed all the the animated Green Lantern stuff that I've seen, but I think that you know we should recognize that. Warner Brothers Discovery has just lost a shit ton of money. Fifty eight so billion. The, the idea I the idea that they're going to um put on a TV series that is as demanding as like Infinity War, literally like two or three episodes uh at a time, uh probably was something that they didn't want to stomach. So instead, they sort of decided, and, and, and again, when, when you go into that big space opera of the different Lantern Corps fighting each other, they, they it spins sort of out of what Green Lanterns started as, right? Because the Green Lanterns are fundamentally a paramilitary space police force. Yeah, they took over the um, Manhunters. Um, they yeah, replaced they, the yeah, Manhunters. They, repla- they, yeah. they, were, they were created to replace the Manhunters, and... Uh, and so presenting it as a terrestrial based crime like detective show, I think it will be interesting to see how Jordan and, and John Stewart working together That's in the this big. context as cops. I was like, like, whoa, both of them? Both yeah. um Stewart and freaking Jordan are gonna be teaming up? Like that's that's insane. Yeah. Like that is really cool. And and just or even too like to say well it's not going to be a movie it's going to be a series. That's the thing. Warner Brothers needs to make a shit ton of money in order to give us more of what they've they've provided. And that it wasn't just that that got me kind of you know okay I'm um, I'm interested now. 
it was it was yes it was the green lanterns uh hbo series that they're doing and when they said lost paradise and stuff this is what made me click back to when rogue kitty cat was telling me about you know it really sucks how they didn't go into um when we saw thor the first thor movie and we had the narration by Anthony Hopkins as Odin talking about this is what happened. This is how we came to now. Um, we had the big battle with the Frost Giants. We had all this fallout and stuff. And then they kind of touched on it a little bit more in Ragnarok showing that, oh yeah, Odin was a conqueror. Odin went around more or less like doing this. They didn't really touch on too much of it with Themyscira in the Wonder Woman movie because I guess they just budget wise they're like we just don't have time we can't yeah. do it so now that we're getting this paradise lost and it sort of shows oh this is why we'll get uh why Gail Gadot and Patty Jenkins aren't back because it's going to be a prequel thing that's going to show like and well, the, I mean, aside from the fact that Gunn was like Wonder Woman 2 was straight ass. I mean, he didn't say it in exactly those words, but he, like, that's kind of what he meant. He left some breadcrumbs to, to say like, all right, I'm, I'm being he nice. Remembered. He's like, I, I'm, and he wasn't, he didn't even like pull any punches with a few of the things that he was saying, because when he said like Henry Cavill was dicked around by the old regime and stuff, and you know, it, it was... Like he took some shot. It felt like he took some shots at Marvel as well, where he was saying, "We're not going to start filming till we have a screenplay and stuff." Like more or less taking so many hard shots at like these idiots. Well, like you. we don't have a script, but we've got a poster. Let's start shooting. And he was like really trying to make it so clear that everything that came before was just made by incompetent like morons, and we're not going to do that here. We're going to actually like, and this is something that worried me when he was saying about how like, so this is going to be animated. This is going to be a TV show. This like, you know, he hasn't mentioned any games and stuff yet, but there's always like at, least, at least half of what he, he hasn't told us about this first chapter is going to be gaming related. Yeah. And I think like also too, if he turned around, if he said tomorrow, if he announced, okay, so I've heard a lot of concern about the whole, you're skipping over Dick Grayson's Nightwing origin. Oh, you're skipping over the Jason Todd story and the Tim Drake story. Uh, that's going to be in game format. And if you want to go on that journey, check out the game because it's being made by the Arkham Wild. people. Or, yeah. Like, you know, freaking just stuff like that would be cool. Wild. But I'm, I'm sort of like concerned with the whole, while video games are cool and, and TV shows and films are cool, things can get delayed. If he's got a set, order off this starts here 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 oh wait that's gotten delayed so that's going to end up pushing into this so are we going to delay all of this or are we just going to let that come out after this it's it's so kind of mind-boggling like to think oh man so he's in charge now and it's all going to fall on him if it hits the fan and he's just like got an answer to Warner Brothers, and they're like, "Man, you promised us that this was going to make money, that you're going to be on on board with this, because his contract is only for four years." But he said, "We've got a ten year slate, ready to go, and we just have to fill those seats with the writers and directors and the people. Like, this is what we got so far, but we've got even more coming. Like, you know, stay tuned." That's something that I was like, kind of. Oh man, he announced Booster Gold. And when he said it's a cult classic, I was just like, man, this has taken forever for anyone to notice. And he noticed, like, James Gunn was smart enough to go, that's what fans have been asking for forever, for a long, long time. Like, you, you know, when Iron Man came out, it's like, hey, Tony Stark's all witty and funny. And he's like, you know, this, this kind of like, turn it around this pompous prick but he's an adorable like he's very charming and stuff hey warner brothers what are you doing you've got booster gold right there why aren't you doing something with him if that there's your iron man revenue there's your profit get started on it oh no we no uh green lantern with ryan reynolds and uh we're gonna start shooting without a script and ryan reynolds has even come out saying that like yeah we were starting to shoot 
freaking principal photography and I hadn't even read a script yet because one didn't exist. So like now...